everybody, it's Saha. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to talk to you all about my 2022 reading plans. So in case you've seen my end of the year book tag, you might already know that in that video I said this. Honestly, I'm not really one to make reading plans anymore. And honestly, this has been working very well for me. So I think I'm just going to probably carry that energy in 2022. And yet here we are. <laughs> I honestly did not think that I was going to have any reading plans for 2022, but as it often happens with me, the closer we get to the next year, the more I get excited and the more I start planning obsessively because that's just who I am. <laughs> but this is still going to be pretty low-key and not too specific in terms of reading plans because I find that that is what works best for me. So. Without any further ado, let's dive into this. I don't have really like any rhyme or reason for this video. I'm not really organized, which is kind of ironic considering the subject matter, but it's fine. I just have a list of four things that I want to talk about here on my phone. So let's start with the first item on the list, which is to read 52 books in 2022. That's right, I am bringing back the numbers. I feel strong enough <laughs> after a year of not really keeping track of how many books I was reading. I am now feeling pretty confident that I can like have this kind of goal in mind for next year. I think it's going to be very exciting. I'm so excited to set up my Goodreads reading challenge, which sounds so silly and kind of not important. But honestly, until 2021, it was one of my favorite things to do on January 1st, like set up the number of books that I wanted to read during the year. So yeah, very excited to bring this back for 2022. And I think that this time around, I'm not going to be focusing too much on it because I learned my lesson. I know now that if I just focus on the numbers and not on actually reaching out for the books that I want, I feel miserable. This is just going to be a fun little challenge as it always should be. And I think that 52 is quite attainable actually. I feel like most people set up their Goodreads reading challenge at 52, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, I think this is going to be a lot of fun. And honestly, I'm just, I'm so excited. I'm also so excited to know which color it will be this year. Anyway, let's move on to the second item on the list, which is about genres that I reach for. One of my goal for next year is actually to keep on going and trying to read more different things. And the first genre that I want to focus a little bit more on is romance. I've read more and more romance books in 2021 and I really really enjoyed most of them. I love that they're cute and funny and always quick to read and they just really take me out of reality for a while which I really really enjoy. So yeah definitely I want to read more of those in the future. The second genre on my list is historical fiction because I feel like I used to read much more of those books than I did in 2021 and I kind of miss them and there are so many that I have have on like my mental TBR and also on my Goodreads TBR that I've been thinking about for years and I've been meaning to read for so long but I just haven't reached for them in the last couple of years so I would really really love to read more of them in 2022. I think the main reason why I haven't read a lot of those in the last two years especially is because they tend to be quite sad <laughs> and I've been leaning so much more towards happy and fun and adventure filled books just to you know escape reality which has been a little bit sad and stressful in the last couple of years. So yeah, I think that's why I haven't reached for those as much, but there are still so many that I want to read and I know that I enjoy them when I read them. So I should definitely try to reach for more of those. Then the next category is nonfiction, which is also a category of books that I haven't reached for in a very, very long time or actually like ever but I've started to read more of them in 2021 and I've been starting to get like more drawn towards them I think maybe because I finally finished university so now that I'm not like forced to read certain essays or different articles on different topics for school I'm kind of like reaching for that knowledge again so yeah nonfiction is definitely another genre in which I have like so many books on my list I have so many titles that I've been thinking about reading for years and I think that it should be a good idea to try to focus a little bit more on them because I know that most of them are going to teach me so much and I'm also probably really going to enjoy them. So that's the next one. <laughs> 
And then finally, the fourth and final genre that I want to focus on in 2022 should be no surprise, and that is fantasy, of course. I got into kind of like a weird fantasy slump in 2021, which was very very sad for me because I love fantasy and I still wanted to read fantasy but I just couldn't bring myself to do it like every story that I picked up just didn't really mesh with me I actually DNF'd a couple of fantasy books that I was just so excited about and that I thought were going to become favorites so it really kind of like broke my heart a little bit but now I feel like I'm slowly coming out of that slump and so my goal also in reading more fantasy books is to try and find a new fantasy series to fall in love with because I feel like most of the fantasy books that I read in 2021 didn't really like stood out to me or didn't completely capture my attention and my heart or if they did they were already a part of a series that I already love so my goal is really to find like a new fantasy series to become completely obsessed with so if you have any recommendations please leave them in the comments down below. I need to know. I need to know all of your favorite fantasy series. I already have a couple in mind, so maybe I'll do a video about that in the beginning of next year. But yeah, if you have any recommendations of a fantasy series that will live in my mind rent-free, please let me know. <laughs> and then finally, the last reading goal that I have on this list is one that I already focused on this year, but I want to carry over in 2022. And that is that for every single book that I read by white author, Author, I want to read a book by an author of color because I think it's just so important to be aware of who is writing the stories that we're consuming and also who we're giving our attention to especially since the publishing industry is famously not really great at promoting books by authors of color and really paying attention to that in 2021 has made me discover so many new great authors and books so I definitely want to keep on doing that moving forward all right so these are all of the reading plans that I have in mind for 2022 I also wanted to wish you a very happy Christmas if you do celebrate it and a happy new year because this is going to be the last video on this channel for 2021 so I hope that you really enjoyed if you did please don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next one bye